We are live. Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. How are we all doing? Hello. Well, I can't speak for everybody else, but I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> and how are you doing, Rex? Oh, I'm doing great. Got a couple people already. Hey, Fred. Hey, Chris. Hey, Zeno. And uh, thank you very much for the YouTube membership, Fred. Rex uh, told me... Hey, thank you. I think you did that on the XCOM stream, right? Um, hey, Drahushka. And then also hello to Flush and Block, who are both developers on the game, so they'll be seeing how we get on today. That's awesome. I know. <laughs> As I as uh as I had with the um, Gauntlet of Ire, I always like having the developer online at the same time, which is awesome. Hey Void. All right, we should hopefully now be able to actually see the game, and we'll see yes. the very nice Persephone's chair logo. There it is. So Flush is um one of the probably most prolific um. Sorry, I'm covering the Jigsaw House logo there. Probably one of the most prolific. Uh, modders for Katain. I'm not sure Absolutely. quite how many mods he's gone out now, but it exceeds 30, right? Was that... I'm trying to get to chat. I'm not actually there, guys, but um, no worries. I'm gonna. I'm, I'll get there in a second. Um, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing the live stream. Isn't in my. Uh... It's way more than 30. It's 67. Okay, wow. <laughs> Six. So that's a, so that's what that's a good that's a good. 20% of all of the <laughs> seventh, six, seventh of all. Yeah, yeah that's good pretty, 20% of all. Pretty insane. Hey, Jordan. Is that a name I don't recognize? I think Jordan might be new to the stream. Welcome. Oh, there it is. All right. So um, I think we made pretty short work of uh, Madarka Real Estate. Hey, Fishy Cake. We all we consider did. ourselves good puzzlers, so hopefully we're going to smash through the Jigsaw House. <laughs> Um, there's a couple of links in the description if anyone wants to join the Discord server for the Jigsaw House or wants to get their hands on a copy, go and take a look at the description. Um, hey, newbie guys. Hi, hi, Fishy Cake. Hi, newbie. Welcome aboard. Yeah, did it. Uh, sound will be on. It's because I'm not actually tabbed into the game yet. Um, let's put my camera back where it should be. Um, and yeah, are you guys ready to make a start on this? Sure. I am. Yeah, all right. Into the game we go. Um, I'm just going to turn it down a bit, obviously, because we're... Chat, let us know how that sound is. Um, I've put the ambient light up a little bit, just so it's not too dark on stream. I realize that dark is kind of the point, so I'm not going to put it up loads. Um, I also quite like high field of view, so let's see see how that works out. All right, new game. Newbie asks if it's a kind of horror game or something, and I believe it, it does have horror elements I to it. I think there's elements, yeah. I remember... Flush said that it's one of the games that you could kind of consider it being a bit like is Amnesia the Dark Descent, uh, amongst others. So I think there's a bit of that to it. Um, this says previous save that I was only testing that the game actually ran correctly. Um, I've not played any of this before. Uh, there is no open cutscene. I've not seen it yet, so let's, uh, let's see what happens. Okay. No, it's kind of, I'm not getting any sound. Is there? There is sound, yeah. No, I'm not getting it either, of course. Okay, we'll switch to Parsec after this thing. Time 
Okay. Um, yep. So what I'm going to do is currently. I got the audio through the. I got the audio through the YouTube video. So. Okay. So to fill. I think that's all the audio. Okay, so um, just to fill Rex and Silly in on, I don't know if Rex heard that. So a very creepy voice that is definitely not Flush's voice. Um, just told us um, he called us a spider a lot. He told us that we can't run away, um, that we're going to have to think our way out of this, um, or not, and we could just chill here and give him some company for thousands of years to come. Um, so yeah, we need to solve our way out of the jigsaw house, presumably. Um, he also said that the answer to this puzzle, we're going to start off with an easy one, quote unquote, um, and that the, the answer to this is hidden in plain sight. Um, so that may be a clue to get us started. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to just, I think everyone's going to lose sound here just for a moment, but I'm going to switch off the screen share on my Discord to Rex and Silly. I'm going to open up Parsec um, so they're getting sound on this, and then we'll make a start. But it's a very creepy intro. What I'll do is I'm going to walk up just to these letter tiles so that while I'm sorting out Parsec, everyone can... Oh! Everyone can see what's going on. So when I walked over this, I think it actually went down like a pressure plate. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if that's something that we can reset and whether that actually does something. Like maybe standing on a letter is going to raise this and then standing on it is going to reset the puzzle, perhaps? That or, my guess. yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the submit button, perhaps? Possibly, yeah. Um, so let's get Parsec up here. Um, just send me uh, some requests as soon as you're ready, guys. Okay, Rex should be in. And Silly? Um, it's not behaving. Hmm. Is it that uh, because he's connected, I can't? I think you can have more than one guest, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the whole point. Can I actually invite you specifically? It's not giving me an option to do that. It says you're on. The, the play button is... Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Got it? For some reason... One second. Give me one moment. Apparently, Parsec has, uh, there it is, it wants me to confirm my email once again. <laughs> Don't know why. Um, let's go and take a look at the live dashboard. Have we got any new people? Don't believe so. There it is. I can join now. Okay, cool. Silly, in you come. Sorry about that. Flush said wrong about something, but I'm not sure what. That it's the subject about That it's the reset Yeah, it could button. be like a, something I'm, along those lines, yeah, probably. I'm trying to accept you, Parsec. It's uh, not liking it. And, and my Parsec has just died. Oh, dear. <laughs> hey, David. Hey, David. We've got a new one today for you, David. It's definitely not Flush's voice wrong. <laughs> Um, while we're just waiting for this, um, I don't want to speak for anything that you're not 100% on yet, Silly. You m yeah. mentioned us doing something with the game. Um, it's up to you if you want to talk about that in chat. Doing something with what game? Uh, with this game. Why am I blanking? Uh, I guess Flush will mention if he wants to. Uh, please accept my attempt to connect. And Parsec died again. What is up with this? Do you are you happy to just watch on a bit of a YouTube delay? Yeah, I've, I've I got, can watch on the YouTube. I've delay. got it set to ultra low latency. It should only be a second or two. Uh, I think it was. It was pretty close. Voice echo, echo, echo. Um, if you just put it on low, then uh... yeah. 
that's cool. I that's guess fine. You'll just have to live with that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fine. All right. So here we are. Um, we things that we know so far. There are some switches lining all the walls with eight off torches on them, and perhaps turning the switches down may turn those torches on. We've got a timer telling us that we've been in here for a whopping one minute and forty-seven seconds. We've got a door that made a weird noise at us. Uh, we have no option to open that door. Alright, um, so we've got eight switches. We've got... We have runes on the floor. On the floor? No, no, behind you. Turn around. The letters on the buttons? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we've got four, twelve letters. They're all English letters, looks like it. Is that a D or an O? Hmm. That's um, a... Why? 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 Yeah, it's an O, o, it's an o isn't between it? B and C, or is it a Q? The others are all the same. Yeah, that's that's an O, right? Because they're all uh, uppercase, so that's it's not going to be a D. Yeah. Can you can you read them to me? Um. Okay, so it's in it, it, it's adjacent letters. It's format. an adjacent letters format. So Golf Echo Hotel Juliet, uh, India Oscar Charlie Alpha. Lima, Bravo, Foxtrot, Kilo. Now, I accidentally pressed down the Bravo, and yes, that has raised the button behind it, so it looks like this is, in fact, a reset and possibly a submit button. There's a book over here, but um, doesn't look like there's actual legible text on it. We've got some paintings on the walls. We do have a lantern, by the way, but... Ooh, hello. We, we're limited on oil, so we don't want to use it too much. But I just noticed when I put the lantern up that there are some letters... <laughs> on the walls here. So there's actually an A scratched in here. It does a B. And there's a B here as well. Yes, yeah, so there's A, B okay. on the walls there. So maybe it's a simply a case of finding all of the letters around the wall. There's another B there. Oh, there's another A, B. Sorry, I'm flicking the uh, torch on and off just to preserve oil. There's a dude. So there's two A, Bs. There's also a J here. Um, and I guess we might want to... What's this? Is this oil? What did we just pick up? That is oil. Okay. So the green bottles are oil. Oil can be found at various locations around the house. Alright. Various locations. So, we have... Alright, I'm looking at the yeah. letters. I can spell the word block if we go from letter to letter, but I don't know <laughs> if that significant. So that might be a reference to block work. <laughs> There's some more letters here as well. We've got J, another J. We've got an I as well. So there's a, a, B, A, B again, and then I, J, and another J. We can't spell jigsaw, can we? No. No. Um, maybe let's just try... I mean... It's worth a shot. There's no reason not to just try submitting something. Let's press down all the letters that we've seen around, which is A, B, I, and J. I feel like there's probably a bit more to this than just that, but it's worth um, a shot. I, I would like to think that maybe perhaps the the number of occurrences of each letter in the order, because we only had one I, but we had <laughs> two of each of the other letters, yeah. and I'm thinking that there's probably maybe um, a third and a third and a fourth of another letter. Yeah, unless we've just missed an I somewhere, but... uh. Oh, there's an F down here. Okay. Let's click that as well. Oh, I just reset it. Okay, so presumably there are going to be no letters past this button because to find them we'd have to reset the puzzle. So all the letters that are relevant to us are probably going to be in here. Um, but right. let, let's just go clockwise around the room and find all the letters that we can see. So we've got F, L, B, sorry, F, L, A, B, I, J, uh, J again, B, A, L and that's it unless I've missed some does it look like it's spelling the same thing backwards as forwards is it a palindrome 
No. Okay. So what have we got so far then? Uh, F L A B I J J B A L. Flabby bitch <laughs> Okay. Uh, again, let's because I missed some letters before. Let's just try clicking down all the ones that we have present. So F A J I L and B. Oh, that's it. It's just all the letters that we can see. Cool. All right. Okay. What's opened? Now, did you say now the other one? The gate at the back of the room has opened. Now, just before we proceed, first of all, I'm going to hit the reset button just to see if the gate closes. I'm curious. It doesn't? Okay. Um, also, the timer above this door has stopped. I actually didn't realize there was a timer above that door. But that stopped at 625. The one that we had back here, that's still going. Okay. So it's telling us how fast we did the puzzle, I guess. Also, this oil here has refreshed itself, which is nice. So I guess for this uh, that guy puzzle. who that yells, thank you very much. We we had a lot of fun doing Centurion <laughs> at the, Thanks, the Praetorian after it, and then a bunch of stuff after that. We just kind of like each other's company. I don't know why. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> Thanks, guy. You're a jerk. I like you. Um, one thing that we don't know is what these switches do. So anyone got any requests for which switch I hit first? <laughs> um. Oh, you're asking me. Yeah, um, we've got eight, four on the left, four on the right. Would, would anyone like me to hit any particular switch? Any ideas? Um, no. Start doing them in any order you like. Hey, Drushka. Hey, Drushka, welcome. Oh, it didn't work. Okay. Well, let's do that with all of them. I'm going to assume none of them work. Yeah, it looks like maybe we need to do something else to get this active. Maybe we're going to end up looping back here and... Oh, okay, yeah, so here's, here's an idea. All the clocks are timing you on how long it takes to solve a puzzle. So this clock is specific. It's not just like an over a overall clock for the whole game. This is a clock to solve how long it takes us to solve this door. These switches are for this door, but we're going to have to loop back on ourselves. Like, we'll be doing a circuit of other puzzles that will eventually double back to this room at what point we have to solve that door. And that timer is essentially timing us on the whole process. I see. Oh, uh, well, I, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm having a really hard time seeing Okay, I can turn, I can, if it's if it's too dark, I can do this. I don't want to make it so that the lantern is completely ineffectual. Um, but yeah, for streaming purposes, we want to make sure everyone can see, so. Um, uh, my assumption was that we'd have to loop around and come back, however, this gate is actually not open enough for us to get out. So there's a second solution. I've been I like told that. you've stumbled like across that. a very rare bug. Oh, is that true? Okay. Um, do we, okay. Is, should the gate have completely opened? Do we have a console? I can always gob my way through it. <laughs> Is the bug that this gate should have opened? What do we? What's the conclusion? Uh, I'm, w I'm waiting for an answer. All right. Try doing the same letters again. He says. Okay. Um. So A, J. Oops. Wrong. Um. Hang on. I. L. B. Uh, F was F a letter? Yes. There's, there are six. I'm afraid it doesn't look like that did very much. Hi, Eric. Hello, Eric. Hmm. Still stuck. Can we hit the switches now? We cannot. Hmm. Is this a reload? We're not firing. I think we can re reload. Yes, yes, it's the reload. Okay. Confirmed. <clears throat> Wonder what caused that. Oh. We 
can click past this screen. We can, yeah. I feel like I'm cheating the timers now, because we're going to be doing this way faster than <laughs> the last one. Are these random, J? Doesn't look like it. Okay. I, L, D, F. Ooh. Same thing again, I think. It looked like the gate opened all the way, and then it swung back on itself. Uh-oh. I think we might be trapped forever. <laughs> Eric, thank you very much. Oh, Eric, that's really very sweet. Thank you very kindly. Welcome, welcome aboard, and thanks you for subscribing. Is that a, a membership, or is that a sub? Yeah, it's a membership. Yeah. Oh, awesome! Thank you very much. Yeah, that's really sweet. Oh, I think hey, we've hi. hit a GB bug, as Isaac calls it. Yes. Try this one more time. If if uh yeah, you know what, let's try that. Um Flush, if you've got any idea what might cause the bug, then let me know if there's a way to possibly You you might have a, dir uh, a direct message in Discord about it. Might I? I do. Is there, okay, is there anything that I can do that is gonna maybe short circuit the bug? Oh, so, okay, I think I, I've only received the first message. It looks like possibly the solution the solution is randomized. Oh, um, okay. And it happened to just be one very rare random solution that, because of another interaction with a different puzzle, has screwed up. Um, so if we relaunch the entire game, um, I wonder if... Flush, let me know. Is there is there a file in the Jigsaw House data folder that I can delete that will remake itself if I relaunch the game that will hopefully just like reload the cache. Let's see if we can uh, if we had that. I'm waiting for an answer. Okay, Flush is investigating that. I'm going to try this with just a game restart and see if that fixes it. Okay. Um, so we're trying to solve this on two fronts. Hopefully one of them will work. Oh, I hit continue. Fuck. Hang on. Nice going, Sky. <laughs> it, maybe it'll fix itself. Oh, no. They bounced back. Hang on. Yeah, fuck, okay. Delete the save file in the app data, okay. Local low, save game. Jigsaw house, so it's save game dot bin. There we go. All right. These are high stakes, Flush. This, the fate of the stream is on your shoulders, <laughs> says Fred. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Here we go. All right, Reminds all, me of Factory Maze. <laughs> I keep hearing about Factory Maze. Me too. I've still not looked at it. Nor have I. We did just get a prompt oh. asking to clear our previous save, which... Feels like deleting save data might not have deleted the save data. Let's, hmm. We'll see. Oh, let's start you off with something easy, shall we? Ooh, okay. My game is now black. That's interesting. Uh, let's try that again. Maybe I skipped the cutscene too quickly. <laughs> oh, so you find Let's start you off with something easy, shall we? A key. 
Okay. I've got sound but no visuals now. Settings. Mm. Oh, and also every setting has gone to zero, so let's try turning just everything up. Oh, my field of view is zero. That's why it's black. <laughs> there you go. That that'll do it. <laughs> All right, let me know how that sounds, everybody. I get, I'm getting sounds. Cool. Uh, yeah. you let me know how the levels are compared to my voice. Well, you're a lot more grating than the game. Oh, thanks. Okay, so this time we've pressed all the... Ah, oh, no, there's randomization. Okay, there is randomization. Cool, alright. So, hopefully this should work now, because the solution isn't going to clash with another solution, which was the problem. So let's okay. find out what we've got. We've got J. C and D. C and D and J. Let's hit those. And a, and a G. And an E. Uh, E's over there. And an A. Have we done A? We've not done A. No. Fingers crossed. It's not solved. Have we missed a letter? It was six last time, wasn't it? It was, but it, there's no sense saying that it has to be exactly six. Not at all, no. Because I guess we got repeated letters, which might also change the solution. E, C, D. There's your G, I see. A, G, J, J, C, pick it up for the J, C, A, G, D, E, G, E, D, C, A, J, hmm. Those are the six letters I have. Maybe we actually didn't get the solution right. I, I guess Flush just let us know. Maybe maybe we weren't actually correct. Um, but G is a letter, right? And E and D? Yes. And then C, A and J? C, A, J, yes. Yeah, maybe we were actually just not correct. And it bugged out that we got a, like the wrong solution. But it was the solution to something else. Oh! Okay, I accidentally stepped on L. And that opened the gate, so I guess I just missed an L somewhere. The L. And the gate has half opened. Is that is that the same bug? I'm just gonna hit every button, see what happens. <laughs> oh yeah, there's totally an L there. Okay, I missed that. So there were seven buttons this time. Interesting. I like that, that that's variable. Yeah. I guess it was just the fact we had those repeated letters that changed the solution. Flush wants to send you an older build. Okay, sure. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, is cool with that. Itchio, I do have an account. Good. Let's grab this. Alright, bear with us, guys. Shouldn't take long. Yeah, so w what we were running here is a build that was finished up, like, half an hour ago. <laughs> um, so as far as I know, there is, a like, an older, more stable build of the game, which is what we're going to go and grab now. Very cool. So how's everybody been? <laughs> I was away for a week. Yeah, this is your first stream back since... Uh... Since, like... Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday last week, yeah. yeah. Nice. And I've missed it. Well, I've started Oberdin, which is a game that you should definitely play at some point because you love Papers, Please. I do. Um, I think it might be your kind of game. It's it's kind of a murder mystery, but 
fairly open. You know how Papers, Please, it isn't like a strict logic puzzle. You're just given like information and you have to just work with that information. It's, sure. It's just like, yeah, it's it's kind of like that. Um, but even more open-ended, like there is still one specific way of working out whether someone is good or bad in Papers, Please. This game is super mm-hmm. just like, it just gives you some vague information and just asks you to to work out what's going on with it and i think there's a lot of different ways that you can work out what's going on it seems really cool the real question is is nightmare tank gonna be able to like solve it in three seconds and then i take like a minute and he's gonna start yelling at me because i'm not fast <laughs> enough or i missed or i missed someone's hair color or something yeah, along those uh, lines because he's pretty sharp on papers please huh? <laughs> he's super sharp yeah i don't know how he finds that so fast <laughs> I immediately get that's not a, not a valid issuing district. I'm like, give me a second. <laughs> Height's wrong. <laughs> the haircuts always get me in papers, please. The height's fine. Oh wait, no, they've just got a three inch high beehive. <laughs> I try to like, and I think the game has some leeway as far as like you know if you're within five, it's like yeah, it's all right, but. It's, when it's pretty obvious, when it's you know twenty centimeters, you go, okay, it's not you. <laughs> That's. I missed that game. I haven't played it in a while. I miss I miss starving my family and then depriving them of heat the next day. <laughs> I'm sure they don't. You know they don't actually exist, right? Oh wait, way to way to ruin it, silly. I was I was having a lot of fun calling you a monster. You can still do that. That's everybody else does. So you might as well. <laughs> What's that stand-up comedian who's got like puppets and then he starts beating them up and then when all the audience are going like, "Oh," he's just like, "It's a puppet." <laughs> Don't think I know who he is. Maybe he's an English guy. I can't believe you British people beat up on your puppets. What's wrong with you? Um, oh, fuck. I could never do that to a puppet. All right, we should be almost ready to go back in the game. So, Flush, why is it that you wanted me to play with the newer build? What's different between the two builds? Hey, Aperture. Hey, Kimra. Oh, Kimra's here? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Real MVP of Papers, Please is Georgie. <laughs> Absolutely. You can never turn Georgie away. I love... it. I have to do a run where I'm actually better better to Georgie, because I keep going in... <laughs> yeah, you were mean I keep to Georgie going in, I, <laughs> I have, I have a job to do, people. I can't just shirk my responsibilities like that. That's the running gag, is Georgie is... Uh, always comes, but it's never legal. Yeah, that's kind of how it is. But hard not to love him because he is such a... And he's actually really nice about it when you go and you're like, I'm sorry, I'm going to have you detained. And he's like, it's okay. (laughs) I'll do better next time. I get right documents next time. I get right right (laughs) documents. Okay, we should be seeing the game again, I think. Uh, I'm a couple seconds behind. There it is. Yep. Yeah, cool. Okay. Quark asks, what is this guy? What this, is it? This is a puzzle game by Royal Flush, who is one of the probably the biggest modders in Katane. He's made, what was the number? 67 or 68 modules, including things like Algebra, Skyrim, Symbolic Coordinates, Lightspeed, uh, Sonic is his, right? Jewel Vault. Um, Jack o' Lantern, LED Grid, there's tons of them. Um, and he's made his own actual uh, Unity game. 
and that's what we're playing today. So we're just at the start here, and let's go and solve this puzzle. So we've just changed builds to an older, hopefully more stable build. And uh, we know kind of what we're doing with this first puzzle here. We've got some letters around, so we need to find those. Um, we have Alpha, we have Golf, we have Delta, we have Lima. So let's put in Lima, Golf, Delta. It's a Bravo as well. We're missing something. Charlie? Did I say Charlie? Nope. Still something else. Hotel. Got it. And there's still something else. Alpha Bravo Hotel. If I say a letter I've not done, let me know. Uh, let's just double check my settings, because... Oh, there aren't settings there. Okay. Um, Alpha Golf? Lima Delta? Off we go off. Have I accidentally hit a letter that we haven't seen? What's Was that, that a Charlie I saw on the wall? High on I've hit Charlie, yeah. I'm a okay. What did you say, sorry, Rex? I have Alpha, Alpha Bravo, I'm sorry, Alpha Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Hotel Golf, Lima. Alpha Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Hotel Golf, Lima. Uh, oh, I must have hit the reset button there. Oops. Hmm. Sorry, Rex, you said something, right? No, no, I'm just... Personally. Okay. What if I did I... <laughs> oh, yeah, I know what I was going to say. Um, maybe you hit some letter that you should have So maybe we said it was a good... We found seven letters, right? I have... Seven. Yes. Hmm. Let me know if you spot anything that I've missed. That can happen. <laughs> I mean, I've had enough misreads as a diffuser. Oh, there's a lemur up there. Cool. Okay. Right, read me back all our letters. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Golf, Hotel, Lima. Oh, did we already have Lima? Alpha, Bravo... India's probably easy to miss, so I'm gonna hit India. Nope, that didn't work. Let's take a look down this corridor, then. Maybe things have changed since the last one. I'll grab some oil, because we're almost out of that already. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything on my time-delayed screen. Charlie Which Delta. Delta on the cabinet. Alpha Bravo, Charlie Delta. Hotel. Hmm. Delta. Charlie. Maybe they have to be headed in a specific. You'd think, but on the last one where we were hitting them, we got it right, kind of regardless of order, I think. But we can try it. Well, we what? think, unless we stumbled. Yeah, uh, possibly. Okay, so let's maybe... I'll try it in alphabetical. So A, B, C, D... Do we have an E? No, no G, H, L. G, H, and L. Nope, okay. In that case, let's try going perhaps left to right, or clockwise. So we've got C, D. 
And then B, H. And then... Oh, fuck. Uh oh, we're out of oil. Oh, what was that noise? See, he had a gift. He did. I think I've. Oh, it's oil. back. There we go. I picked some oil up before, and uh, I thought that might have been it, but we just got some more. Okay. Um. C D. C D. B H. B H We've done C A Not done A yet A Maybe it's a case that we don't hit the duplicates Or that we only hit the duplicates And then G And then L No, nope, that's not a solve. Okay. Which ones do we have duplicates of, Dido? Just give us all the ones we've got a single of. I don't have that. Um. Okay, Um. in that case, going around the room, we have Charlie, Delta, Al- Oh, fuck. Okay, Alpha, Bravo, Okay. Hotel, Charlie, Alpha, Golf, Lima, Delta. I've realized I missed one if we are hitting them in clockwise order. But just give me all the ones we've got singulars of, we'll try that. Okay, we've got singular Bravo, yep. singular hotel, mm -hmm. uh, single golf and Lima. Pardon me. Bye, Eric. Bye, Eric. Did we have two Charlies? D duplicate Charlie, okay. duplicate Deltas, duplicate Alphas. Yeah, it's not just all the single ones. Let's hit the ones we've got just duplicates of. So, Charlie? Uh, that would be Charlie Alpha Delta. Delta. No luck, I'm afraid. Any ideas, anyone? I guess we can try hitting these switches. They didn't work last time, but maybe we've done something else. Okay, not yet, says the voice. Okay, let's maybe just try hitting the extra letters in case I've just missed one. So, what are the ones we have found? Somebody's saying that maybe that's not a D on the core floor. Flesh says he has an idea. That? Then he puts body face. Is that uh, not a on D? the floor? Maybe that's not a D. The dead set. The I've only found two things that I've considered a D, right? And they both look like D's. No, I mean the floor bed. Oh. Sorry. Okay. But I, I, I think, don't it, see another I think thing. it might be a D. But okay, let's hit everything else except D. So L G, right? B C H A. Yeah. Everything but Delta would be Charlie Alpha Bravo Golf Hotel Lima. Charlie Alpha Bravo Hotel Golf Lima. Uh, oh, hang on. No, okay. Let's take a look through the gate. Do we see any letters on the inside of the gate? Flush says it is a D. It is a D, okay. Flush has an idea, smiley face. I think what's thrown me, I'd be thinking differently if we didn't solve it before, <laughs> or at least appear to. Yeah. I wonder whether maybe Flush can answer this. Should we just kind of forget what we were doing earlier? Was that just not correct? And we got lucky or the, there yeah. was a bug? I'm um, not sure. 
I'm going to try the clockwise thing again because I missed alpha before, so I'm going to go C, D, A, B. So okay. C, D, A, B, and then H, C, G, L, I believe. That did not work. Should we just check I got all these letters right? That's that's a C. That's definitely a D. You sure another the C is not a G or something? Well we're pressing G anyway. A that's B That's true. But it does look like a C. That's an H. That's definitely a C. An A. And a G. And it's definitely an L, all right, and a D. Oh, and we're out of oil. Let's go grab some. Hmm, it says he's starting off with starting us off with an easy one, but it's tricky. It is indeed. Oh, it only half fills our oil, that ball. Okay. So let's take a look perhaps at kind of the positioning of these letters. Some of these are scratched okay. some of these no. are scratched onto wood. And I'm wondering whether perhaps is it just the ones on stone or something? Hmm. Also, what letters do we have? Because it's actually only the beginning of the alphabet, right? It's just A through L. Perhaps it's wait. Perhaps it's the ones that aren't there as well. That's something you can try. You can try that as well. Um, which ones don't we have then? F K J I. No F. F K. If if it's just the letter, it's just, it's just the first uh, twelve. Yep. Uh, Echo Fox Trot. Echo. India. Yeah. Juliet. Kilo. Okay, that did not appear to work either. You got any ideas, Rex? There's this book here, I've really not used this. Can we interact with it? I don't know, I don't think so. There's a, oh, there's a lemur there. Oh, Christ, okay. Okay, again, if we're going clockwise, then I've missed another letter. The pictures don't matter. Um, I don't see any relevance in them. Okay, clockwise again. But not missing anything. So C D C D L and then Oh there's an L okay. And then A B yeah, I missed that L. And then A B and then H H. Then G Thank you. And then G and then L, right? Oh I've done L. Oh very good. We didn't should have just been the G. We didn't end up hitting the G. Is that is this not a G? This is a G, though. Okay, I'm not quite sure what solved it. Is it the fact that G's scratched into wood? Was it only the letters on the stone that we needed, perhaps? Hmm. And we're out of oil. Let's go grab some. So one of the gates is opened. This is a bit different than last time. Interesting. Okay. So, hang on, I think, did we maybe solve that by pressing all the letters that are in stone? Maybe the next one we solve by just doing the letters that are in wood. Uh, if that's what, that's what just happened. What was that, sorry, Rex? It looks like the gate may not be fully open. Can we make it? Yeah, so the voice says that we've... I think that's what Sky's thinking. Yeah. yeah, the voice said that we've done one, but we've got to do the other. So I guess this puzzle has two solutions. Um, C, D... 
G L. Oh, a noise happened, but it wasn't the right noise. C D. G L. Okay, I don't think it's just the one scratched into wood and the one scratched into stone then. We've also got to consider that earlier we had a rare bug. <laughs> I realize this is getting very meta to solve this puzzle, but we had a rare bug where the solution was sure. the same for both. So what could possibly make the solution occasionally be the same? What are the two possible solutions here? We opened this earlier. Hang on, what letters did we actually use earlier? Everything except golf. That gives us Alpha Bravo Charlie Delta Lima Hotel. Is that right? Uh, yes, I believe so. And on the stone, we do have an Alpha Bravo Hotel, Charlie, Lima, and have I missed one? Yeah, I think golf is the only letter that we, because there's a Delta and a Charlie over there, but we also have a Delta... I think that is true. I think it is true that the, the first solution was only things on stone, because the golf only exists on the wood. But it doesn't appear that the only... I wonder whether the other solution is just exclusively golf. <laughs> it could be. Unfortunately, you want to try it? It is not, unfortunately. CDLG is what we've got on the wood. C D L G. Yeah, that's not right. Hmm. Why have I not been sprinting this entire time? I forgot that was a thing. <sighs> Are you guys giving us a hint? You're doing something. You're looking at something. And we we do have these pictures as well. Very creepy. Mm -hmm. Is it a reason that it's only the first 12 letters of the alphabet? Could it be all of the letters that are actually in the correct place in the alphabet on these buttons? So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Okay, none of them are in the correct place. No, no, no that's not it. We can spell block. No, we can't. That's a D. <laughs> <laughs> We've got flowers. We've got an eye. We've got an eye. Let's hit eye. <laughs> and then there's a path, forest, wood, trees. Can we see the shapes of letters in these? Scott, did you, how many how many letters did you solve correctly in the first puzzle? Was it was it six? No, it was five. I think I think it was more than five. I think it was six. It was six. Have you tried pressing the other six? The other six. I I think I did, yeah. I think I asked you which letters hadn't we done and you gave me... Oh, that's right, you have, yeah. yes. I don't think we've included golf in that, though, perhaps? Hang on. Foxtrot Kilo. Juliet India. And golf. No, no, and, but the golf... An golf echo. was echo existing in Echo. Yes. But not on stone. That's right. Well, that's not correct. Can we spell any words or anything with these? They're, they're in the same positions that they've always been in, even though the solution's changed, which maybe suggests that 
they need to be in these positions for something. I could see that. Blid, blig, fay, 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 get, get, gib, cack, ack, heck. Jack. I'm hoping it's not like a voiceover we've missed or something. Can we do these switches yet? We've done one puzzle. Try it. No, it doesn't look like they're working yet. Hmm. There's a second solution to this. Can we half the gate's open? I wonder if we can see something through the gate now that's gonna help us with the second half. I don't think so. Hmm, I don't have much to go on right now. I don't have a whole lot to go on either. I'm thinking. I'm sorry. Flowers, I don't have any answers. Flowers eye. If I, oh wait, hang on. We did the duplicate thing, but I think I'd missed a lemur before that. So add a lemur to our list, and then let's do the duplicates thing. Okay, duplicates are Charlie, Delta, Lima, Alpha. Okay. And, that, and that's it. Okay, in that case, which one do we have only singular? Uh, that would be Hotel Golf. And not Bravo. And Bravo. Shoot, Bravo Hotel Golf. Yes, Bravo Hotel Golf. There's 11 letters, actually. Okay. It wasn't that. Hmm. It's suspicious that we've got this, like, this book here, but it doesn't... Like, I can't read anything on it. Getting some creepy noises. That was Morse for hotel that I just heard. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> it was just like four gongs. <laughs> I think we're at the Morse part of our of our journey today yet. <laughs> I could be wrong. It's happened before. Can you read out our whole list um, alphabetically with the duplicates as well? So you want me like you would want it to be like Alpha Char Alpha Alpha Charlie yes. Charlie? Yeah, yeah, like that. Okay, uh, that would be Alpha Alpha Charlie Charlie Delta Delta. You missed a Bravo, right? I did meet. A, I did miss a Bravo. I keep. I keep not seeing that Bravo. Al okay, Alpha Alpha Bravo Charlie Charlie Delta Delta Golf Hotel Lima Lima. Can we spell anything with any of these letters? Uh, I don't think so.
I'm, am I missing an interaction with something? Should I be able to use something that's here? I think the hand appears over interactable stuff, and I've not seen it, but let's just double check. I think I am completely stumped. Should we? Is Flush still is Flush still around? Should we ask for him? We can. Yes, they're around. Flush, Flush says, "Why are there duplicates? Why are there three duplicates?" We need to ask why are why are there duplicates? How many letters have we found in total? Like, just have we? How many things are scratched? We have found on the walls? seven letters. Seven letters, eleven total. Eleven total. It's twelve buttons. Wait, that's four duplicates, right? Yes. Okay. Four duplicates. Flush at three. Where are the duplicates? He wants us to that thing. Okay. So we've got two lemurs. One is on the stone there, one is on the side of this bench. We've got an A on the stone pillar there, and on the stone pillar here. B. Oh, B's not a duplicate. C is a duplicate. C on the thing, and then C over there. I was going to say it's always one stone and one wood, but that's actually not true. We've got two alphas that are both on stone. Delta, Delta. Okay, what do we have on the two sides of the room? So, we've got, on this side is Alpha, is um, Charlie, Alpha, Lima, Delta. Okay. On the other side of the room is Charlie, Delta, Lima, Alpha, Bravo, Hotel. Um, and on the first side of the room, I missed a golf. Is there anything special about the leftover letters on, like, the two halves of the room? Hmm. Where are the duplicates? Book is in so C, two halves. C and C. The C's are on the two. Being told the book is in two halves. The book is in two halves. The book has nothing legible on it. Okay, but where are things maybe in relation to the book? The book also has candles below it, and some of our letters have candles below them. Let's go grab some more oil. Oh, oil has not returned. The book is in two halves. The book is in two halves. Yes. CDB. That's what I've been told. We've got ABCD. 
The book is a metaphor. You have opened one door. The book is a metaphor. The cake is a lie. The cake is indeed a lie. I've heard that. Where is... Hmm... There's a bee above the book. Mm -hmm. We've got an A just to the left of it. So we've got C, Do D, we need to lay out A, B. Or... If the book is suggesting something, the book makes me almost think of like a, a Rorschach. Like we want to be doing the mirror of it, but we have tried doing the letters that aren't there, and that didn't work. Um, what? Hang on. What are the positions of the letter buttons that we had on the floor? Let's try hitting the exact opposite. So, what? Are, read me. The letters that we have. G. L. Right. We have a. G yeah. We have a B and a D. We have. We have. We have B. Yeah. D. Yeah. We have A C H. H C, but not F, and then not K, but we have an A. Right. No. Uh, no echo. I tried to hit the exact opposite pattern on the floor to what we hit. That didn't work. Can you read me the layout of the layers, the letters, please? Golf. It sh should be the same as before, I think. Golf, Echo, Hotel, Juliet. India, okay. Delta, Charlie, Alpha. Lima, Bravo, Fox, Trocular. This was not how it was before. No? Okay. No. Some of these things do and look like other things upside down as well. The first half, the first half we solved. E E D. That does look like a Q upside down. To be fair, that looks like a seven upside down. <laughs> that looks like a Y upside down. Duplicates. Maybe you should draw like a square of the room and write down where in the room you find all so the we letters. Should look okay, I've got a square room. So top right corner, Charlie. And then just after that is a Delta. They're both on the same cabinet here. I need more oil. You can see where the book is, that the B is above that. There's an Alpha right. a little bit to the left of that. There was a hotel close to that, wasn't there? A hotel, yeah, that's just rounding the corner onto the other side. And then you've got the gap that we walked through. And then in the same position as the hotel on the other side is a Charlie. Okay. And then in the corner is Alpha. This should be the bottom left corner. Right. Just after that is a Golf. And then further along is a Lima. And then further along again is a Delta. So I don't know if you can see any relevance to where these duplicates are appearing. The delta seems to be up, doesn't it? The delta what, sorry? 
The delta appears to be opposite itself. It kind of is, yeah. It's the only thing I see that's out at me from the map that I've drawn. The, th the thing that's getting me is if if the position of the duplicates was helping us, how would it give us a new letter? Well, maybe it's not that, but maybe it's, maybe just press delta and see if it's just the only letter that's duplicated across from itself. Mm, it's not that, no. Okay. It was a thought. Book's only got candles on one side. Letters of candles. Hotel Charlie. And... Not much else. Is it what we can see without turning the lantern on? Are there duplicates and where aren't there duplicates is a hint. The where is confusing because the where doesn't give us a letter. Okay, but Quirk says in which case is it it is an answer for both sides if it's in if it's duplicated. I'm not sure. Maybe the left side's letters on the walls. I mean, that suggested that chat. They may be smarter than them. It's entirely possible. Are the duplicates always Flesh next chat. to... Okay, so the left half, we've got Charlie, Alpha Golf, Delta. Lima Delta, right? That was... Charlie, there's a, there's a yes, there that is. you keep missing. Charlie Alpha. Oh. Charlie Alpha Golf. Lima Delta. Oh, wow, okay, it's that. How does it be open the other so one? So it was, it, was it was just the letters on the left side of the screen. I guess, yeah. On the left side of the, on one side of the room. And it, we're through? The gate's open. Oh, yeah, we totally can actually walk through it now. Okay. All right. Yes, you did, Quirk. Thank you. <laughs> We've got a door. Does it open? It does open. Okay, let's leave that just for the moment. We've got another painting that we can interact with. Okay, we actually took a painting. Selecting a painting will store it in the inventory. So we can switch paintings around, but you can only carry one at a time. Let's just see if you can pick up the others, and I missed. And I missed it. No, I can't take these. Okay, I'm also just going to see if these switches do anything yet. Kin Kinra is scolding us, telling us that they got it 25 minutes ago. Why did our first solution work? That's what's getting me. Because we pressed like loads of buttons on the first one, we didn't didn't seem like we just pressed the ones on the right hand side. That's what threw me. We pressed like eleven buttons on the first one and got a solution. Thank God we don't let you defuse, Scott. <laughs> right, I guess let's take this painting. Block worker says we got lucky. Right. Okay. I think getting lucky through us. It, it always will. In any game, it will. Just have a happy diffuser on Thursday. Correct. What was that? Sorry, Rex. We've got a new diffuser for Thursday. We do. Do we? <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to meet him. 
Or her. Oops, some more oil down here. And an empty painting. So we've got some painted. Interesting. There's some painting frames around, and we can switch around the paintings that are in them. Okay. Oh, wait, that was a painting. It's just... Oh, it was very dark. Okay. I don't know if you want to kind of make a note of what's in the paintings, but we've got people being boiled in pots, apparently. We've got a Medusa head. And let's see what else we've got here. We've got a dude being decapitated. We've got... Oh, there's a... Wait, there's an iPhone in that. <laughs> okay. There's a guy with a phone. <laughs> it's Jesus holding a phone. Wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> Is there technology in the other ones that I missed? Hang on. How, how do you see the phone? I don't see a phone. Have you caught up on the stream to the painting with Jesus in it? Yeah. Yeah. He's holding up an iPhone. Okay. I can't imagine this is true, but we don't need to have, like, contain knowledge to play this game, right? Uh, no, I wouldn't imagine. Because iPhone is a flush module. Okay. I don't see anything out of place in the others, but it is kind of weird. Jesus is holding a phone in that picture. No, we do not need it. We do not need to contain knowledge. We are. It is confirmed. <laughs> That's weird. All right. Oh, Persephone's chair said, "It's good luck." <laughs> Is he going? With a smiley face. I don't know. Might be his bedtime, but his <laughs> night. Okay, we've yeah, also... good night and good luck. We've got a public something or other. There's a door here. Oh, we can go through this door. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Had a timer above it like we needed to solve something. Uh, if anyone has any particular requests for which direction we go in, by all means let me know. No more pictures. Another picture. Just some naked dudes. Another picture here. It's very stretched. It's, a, it's some horses. Oh, that we found a puzzle, I guess. It's called the maze. Okay, I wonder whether the directions that we're going in are relevant. Not everything oh. is Okay, I was going to ask if perhaps we're... But it is uh, far too light. If uh, perhaps we have to put these paintings in order of some sort. But that's not a, it's not a line, so that's not an order. Whoa, that's a hell of a oh, room wow. you're in. Okay, so yeah, we've got, we've got a maze. Um, we can walk over the top of it. There's also some things shifting. This is a shifting wall. Oh, we can totally fall in. Okay. Well, I just fell in. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. I guess let's find a way out. Let me memorize that map. <laughs> <laughs> Things shift, remember, so you know, something that wasn't the wall or wasn't this a place to walk? I'm not actually sure if the wall was shifting or if it was just the, the ceiling shifting that allowed us to drop in. I think it may have only been the ceiling that shifted. How do I get out?
Just hugging that right wall, Scott. Yeah, um... Wait. I found a corner. <laughs> oh, are we out? I think we're out. Okay, we're out. Um, there are some mazes on the walls. Oh, that's interesting. We can just leave. Oh, there's the classic dog playing poker. Painting. Watch your step here. Oh, there's some lasers here. Okay. There's also a button on the wall. Do I press the button on the wall? Yes or no? I'd say yes. <laughs> I'm doing it. Buttons are to be pushed. Oh, I see. Okay, so we push a door. We push a button. A door at the end of the corridor opens, and then we have to get to it without hitting a laser. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Let's take a look at this maze first. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna come back around to the beginning of it. Right, so we've got, yeah, a few, a few like, diagrams on the wall of various bits of maze. I'm wondering whether we have to stick all these together to build the map of the maze? I don't know if you want to draw these or take pictures of these. Yeah, I'm going to start taking pictures. And, oh, the, oh, shit, I fell in again. Oh, I can get out of there. So the gate that we need to unlock is on top of the, okay. Let's go and take another quick look at that gate. We've also got a staircase that goes down and down and down. Okay. <clears throat> oh wait, um, we can interact with these lanterns. The other ones we couldn't. I don't think. But I can... Oh, we could. On and off. Uh, as long as you're stood, you have to do. You do have to stand in a specific angle to them. But yeah, you can turn them on and off. They come back on there. Yeah. Okay. You, so you can turn the candles on and off, or at least you can turn them off and then they come back on on their own. So yeah, let's check this gate out. Gavin Roth, well, uh, Gavin needs to. Hey. Uh, it's called Jigsaw. Uh, Persephone's chair is, is awesome. Thank you, thank you, Roy. Um, I'm I just lost silly a bit. Can you hear him, Rex? Yeah, I can hear him fine. Oh, okay. Um, you might want to say what you said again, silly, because I was losing you there. Absolutely. Royal, uh, Gavin was new to the room and uh, had just gotten here and wanted an introduction to the game, and so Royal gave him one. Oh, cool. Okay. Keep catch up. <clears throat> so he said, the voiceover said, it's far too light in here. So we want to be turning off these lanterns, but they come back on, so I guess is the trick. Maybe there's a first one and there's an order. Yeah, or whether maybe let's. In fact, I'm going to go back into the maze and see if the ones in the maze can be turned off because I tried it earlier, um, but it didn't work. But I think I may have just been stood at the wrong angle. So let's try that again. Hmm. Not today, Satan. <laughs> okay, let's give this another yeah. go. Okay, we've got some candles. Can't interact with them, it seems. Yeah, this one doesn't work. Okay, so it's just the ones on top of the maze. So do we have to maybe... I'm guessing we have to relate the candlesticks on the top of the maze in some way to the candlesticks at the bottom of the maze. And then, of course, we also have those pictures of mazes on the walls. Right. 
Should we try and aperture, build a map of this maze? From aperture this? drawing the maze. Drawing the mazes, finding out where they match and or, or form rooms, then turn off the lights above those. Just a suggestion. Wow. What I am also going to do is hit every light to see if one of them stays off. To see if it is to do with finding an order. Yes, okay. Oh, oh, wait. That one. No, maybe not. That one stayed off. And then it came back on. Is it because I moved? I'm going to stand still. It seemed to come on as you walked back towards it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it anything to do? Oh, yeah. So I immediately moved away. Well, Gavin, we hope that we we hope that we notice everybody. We try to acknowledge everybody in all the streams, even the bigger ones. Oh fuck! I know what's going on. I think, maybe. Okay. If I hit a wall in the maze, on top of the maze, the candle goes off. Oh. So there, are, this is still a maze on the top, but with invisible walls. So I can hit this. It's going to go off. And then I need to get to the next one. Without hitting a wall. You need to hit all of them without hitting a wall. So this, okay, well I have a picture of the maze. This one here I can hit and I can walk in this direction. So, oh, for like two squares. Nope, can't go that way. Does the one below it go off as well? No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, I think I walked a bit too far there. So we can go to here. We can't go to there, though. Can we go here and then to here? Nope. Can we go here and then? Nope. Is this a dead end? Looks like it's a bit of a dead end. Feels like. There are quite a few, yeah. I can't hit it from this side, though. Oh, there we go. Still safe. Still safe. Still safe. Oh, and we fucked it. <laughs> okay, so that that's the first step, I think, to this one. Um, yeah, I guess it is just about building the maze. Do, do you need me to go and have a look at all the pictures more carefully? Uh, I mean, I have the map. I don't know what you're, where you're at. Do we think these candles are they all above a candle inside the maze? I think they are. You know, so I think I don't know if the maze matches exactly to what's underneath it. I think it might. Well, it's got a scale some. I'm wondering what the things on the walls reference, because if we can just follow this by looking at what's beneath us, then there's no reason the map, to... The map I had is a 6x6. Six by 6 A 6 by There's lots of them, though, right? Oh, there are? Okay. Yeah, there's, there's f uh, 4. That gives us a 12 by 12 12, yes. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It is a 12x12 12 12 maze. But I'm not sure. If we can see what's below us, I don't know why we'd need these. The screenshot I have of the of the 6x6, six six, mm -hmm. I can see that, that some, like even on the edges, some of the walls are open and some are not. Yeah. Which is presumably where it just links to the other bits of the maze. That's what I'm guessing as well, okay. yes. Let's start by hitting... Oh, fuck's sake, I fell into the maze. Oh, God damn it! I'm running out of stamina, I'm running out of oil. <laughs> Are there 
any other exits? Oh, it's going to be fun to navigate this when I run out of light. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. What happens when we run out of out of oil again? I think is this going to work? I think this gets me out. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I need to be super careful not to fall in. Let's go and grab some oil while I'm here, because I think there's some around this corner. Cody's asking if we can do higher brightness. We're, we're in a section right now that is exceptionally dark. The game itself is quite dark. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's tricky, because... Oh, you know what? I don't even have any options in this build, so unfortunately, no. <laughs> Maybe a case of just turning uh, screen brightness up. If you hit Ben, you auto save it. It'll auto save it. Okay. Uh, oh, do we have those options, but just at the menu? Oh, okay, cool. Let's just try that. <laughs> Okay. There you go. Right, okay, so... We can click that one and walk to here. They're both walls, so I guess we go here and here and here. Yeah, here we go. Oh, wait, no, fuck. What did I do? That's a wall. Right, okay. So does this map to... Okay, do you want to grab screenshots of these four maps and then we'll we'll build it and then you can direct me? Okay. So there's this one here. No, I'm a few oh. seconds behind. That's fine. I will flash my torch at them for a second. I've not got much oil there. Got it. Wait, wait a moment. Okay, that's the one I think I have, but let me just check the. That's the one I had before, okay. Okay, there we go. On Got my, that one. On um, end, we're done. What help do you need, Gavin? Hold on, before you... Let me know if you need any of them again. I only got the first two. Um, I, did you miss the others, or have I just not done it yet? Because I did run over. Okay, I've I've got the one with the spiral in the middle. I've got one with the uniform in the upper right. That's I've got that one. Oh, 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 uniform, well, a few yeah. seconds behind. Spiral in the middle. I need that one. Okay. okay. And then I guess you need this one as well. I wonder if they're in the correct places or if they are in Do fact. Do you mean in uh, YouTube, Gavin? And I've done the other one as well, silly. Right, I'm waiting for it. Oh, there it is. Got it. Okay, let's go to one corner of the maze and see if we can work out which of these it is. Let's also see if there's any oil returned. Nope. 
Okay. Okay, I'm I'm trying to piece. I'm just resizing stuff here to try to figure out what I'm, what I've got. You may well be able to work it out just from where the gaps are. That's what I'm hoping to do. But I'm I'm at the corner of the map. If you want to see if you can find it based on the walls inside. Okay, one one second. I'm just want to see what I can find here. Okay, I think that might go here. And then this one. There's a gap on the... So I've got... Gap bottom right. Is it possible... Mm -hmm. That some of these are rotated? I think maybe. He's got just one there and, and two there. there. Okay, I think I know which one goes here. Okay. This, there should be a uniform up on the, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, wait, I think I see. Okay, I have it. Speaking of Discord, yeah? here's a link to uh, Oh, cheers, the, uh, here comes the link to uh, the uh, Great Beret Discord. So you think you've got the it's whole where... maze built? I think I've got the whole maze built. Okay. Um, Come join our Discord if you want to get announcements about when we're streaming and what's going on and just have a nice place to hang out. <laughs> Hold on, I just want to give a print screen here. So the Rex, I'm gonna get, I want you to have a copy of the map as well, uh, or at least what I think it is. Okay. Um, the the quadrant of this map that has the standalone uniform. Yes, that that's the lower right. We're calling that the lower right. Okay. And then the uniform should be pointing towards the north, like the open end is t pointing towards the northeast quadrant. Pointing towards the northeast. That's the south. Quadrant. So this is the southeast. Yeah. It's the southeast quadrant. Yeah, that makes and that makes sense. Yep, that makes sense. Okay. With the uniform. So point sitting upright. Um, I'm gonna begin the maze. In the northwest quadrant. Okay. Um, and I am at. If this is um, so, I am in Alpha Char. I'm in Charlie Four. I'm in Charlie Four. I'm gonna need direction. I could do with getting to Echo One. Is that gonna Charlie be Charlie Four? Yeah. Charlie Four, so you're in the middle of a long straight hallway. Possibly. <laughs> is Charlie Four to Echo One gonna be relatively short? There's others to aim for. Yeah. We also need Charlie for seven. Oh god. Uh, eight, sorry, Charlie eight. Charlie 8 is, I, th I think that's at the end of, it's the inside of a spiral, so that's going to be a little tricky. Are you, how is your, how is your number lettering scheme working? Um, if, the way you're looking at it, it's Excel sheet with your bottom right quadrant at the bottom right. Okay, but when you're saying Charlie, are you saying Charlie of the entire thing? Yes. There's no reason Sky has to be ignorant of, uh, What's going on? You might no, he doesn't. It, it's in the clear the area section, Sky. If you want to take a quick look at the map, I uh, can do. That I've. Yeah. Okay. If that's if that's how it's laid out. That's super high tech. That's super high tech. <laughs> I know. Sure. Okay. So out of the whole map, I am in Charlie Four. You're in Charlie Four. Yeah. So you're in the inside of that spiral, right? And I could do with getting to either. Charlie 8 or Echo 1, whichever seems like it might be a fairly short path. Oh, that's neither. But okay, we'll try. Okay. Let's try, um, let's try Echo, let's go 1. To Echo 1. Yeah. Let's go to Echo 1. So that's going to be uh, east, east, north. East, east, north. Yep. Triple west. Oh, and it f opened up, so I fell in the maze. Okay, this is gonna 
Pretty difficult. It is. In the general chat of our Discord, by the way, I'm going to post the map. Probably a good idea. As I have it. Wow. Okay, so I need to keep a really careful eye on which tiles below me are moving. Mm -hmm. Um, if this is, if you imagine this is, uh, there's going to be kind of an extra layer to this. If you imagine I'm on a chessboard with right. um, alpha one being, let's say, let's say black. Try and make sure that your instructions never leave me on a black. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? You cut out for a moment. Try and make sure your instructions never leave you. So if you imagine I'm on a chessboard and Alpha 1 is black, try and never leave me on a black, because they can open up below me. Okay. I see. So if, so starting at your Charlie 4... Try and give them in I, pairs, I guess, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So east, east. Right. Northwest. Then, right, then northwest. Then west, west. Sorry, the game's There's fucking one with that me. Up. North, west. Did you see the one that opened up? Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to avoid falling into that one. So I've done north, west, delta three. Yep. Yeah. Then, then west, west. West, west. Good, the lantern's still off. Yep, yeah, I'm in Bravo three. I'm, I'm well. Perfect. Thank you. So you've gone west, west. Yes, Bravo three. Then, then south south to Bravo 5 yep oh the lantern's come back on uh, then east east hang on the, the lantern came back on okay so Bravo 3 wait Bravo 3 to You're Bravo, Bravo 5. 5 should have been safe and the lantern came back Agreed. on I uh, also fell into the maze again It's really hard to tell what's glass and what's open. And we're out of oil. I need to go and try and find some oil. Otherwise it's going to be even more difficult to work out what's glass and what's not. <laughs> okay, let's head backwards because I think we found a couple spots where the oil possibly replenishes. This is where it came from, right? Huh, okay. Maybe I came in entirely the wrong direction. <laughs> we found another thing. We found a new thing. We found some colors on the floor. A little extra security for some of my Oh wow, colors. Colors. A little extra security for some of my favorite things. It's a password. Hurry up and program it in. Guess we could uh, give this a go. Okay. So is it not linear? It, it I looks guess like there's not, no. we can Okay. So when you stand on the button it allows you to program in and you can Oh I see, this looks like it works exactly like a contain password. Here are your columns, guys. <laughs> um Charlie Echo, Quebec. Lima, Foxtrot, Kilo. India... Is that the first one? Uh, sorry, it's three for each. Okay, Lima, Foxtrot, Kilo, got it. X-Ray, India, Lima. Yankee, Tango, Oscar. Bravo, Uniform, Echo. I'm betting it's not going to make an English. You don't think? Plate. <laughs> That's all I've got. Elite. 
Oh, oh there you go. Elite. Oh, Visual. Oh, we're outside. And we got some oil. Yeah, that's what I was after. We we are now in the gallery. I guess we can come back to the maze. We've we've built the maze, so we'll give that a go next time we find it. Oh, okay. okay. So the the paintings. This is what the paintings is all about. We need to move the paintings into the gallery, into the correctly labeled. Um. Like all all of the frames have the titles of the paintings. So we need to know what they're all called. I guess some of these are fairly obvious. Judith beheading someone. The nightmare. Damocles. Oh wait, no. Diomedes devoured by his horses. Wait, did you say horses? Massacre of the Innocents. I did. We found horses. We had a painting of horses. <laughs> we did. All, all. Yeah. I think all the paintings we've been finding will go into the gallery here. I see. We're going to have to go back and forth, back and forth. Uh, that's true, thing. yes. We will. What's also interesting is there's a couple of paintings that don't have titles. Oh no, this this is the title for that painting, I guess. Okay, no, I, I guess... I guess they do all have titles. Is there one for Jesus holding an iPhone? Yeah, that's a, that's a weird one, isn't it? None of the titles I, that I I've seen. Have, I think he'd have. I think he'd have an Android. I, I agree. I think it's very strange. <laughs> I'm not seeing any titles that sound like it's to do with Jesus holding an iPhone. But I guess we'll come to that as and when. <laughs> There's not a, a painting titled like "Turning Water into Facebook." Uh, no, actually, they're all really standard titles. Okay. There's no five likes and seven fishes. Five likes. I'm sorry, that that struck me funny. <laughs> um, I guess some of the paintings are right outside the gallery, so we can we can take a couple of these now. Um, fuck if I know which painting that is though. Um. What do we think this is? There's a skeleton bird looking thing. I think this well, is let's a... get the list of the titles of the painting. That's true, yeah. Um So there's a painting of a depiction of hell of some description. But yeah, if you if you want to make a list of these, we've got the triumph of death. We've we've been told Google is allowed, by the way. <laughs> we've got the nightmare. Triumph of Death. The Nightmare. The Nightmare. Uh, Judith beheading um, Holophanes. A massacre of the Innocents. Um, Sky, there's an FPS menu available in the pause menu. Do I need to show FPS? Ooh, um, that. Oh, hang on, sorry, that's no, fine. I yeah, I can show my FPS if we want it. Oh, it's behind my uh, webcam there. Oh. Do we need? What's the uh, FPS? Uh, um, it's running at like a, it's running at like a hundred. Um. Sorry. So there's Diomedes devoured by his horses. We have a rather gruesome set of photo of <laughs> yeah, art here. Yeah, quite. The Judgment of Cambyses. Night Creeper. Dante and Virgil in Hell, which I think might be this one. Oh, we also, gotta do all also we go. known as Dante and Virgil at the DMV. <laughs> Ooh. Another, another book. The Flying 
sorry, no, the flaying of uh, Marcius. And quite simply, the severed heads. They are all the paintings that we might come across. Fun! Alright, and we've got one right outside the gallery here, which is... Looks like a big old fight. Some dude is holding... Oh, this is this must be the slaughter of the innocents, I guess, because there are dying children. Uh, Massacre of the Innocents. We'll, we'll go with that. Do you want to take a look? Massacre of the Innocents. It's... Um, I'm looking at it now. Lots of buff dudes holding babies, smashing them against the, f the ground. Yes. Cool. Massacre of the Innocents. Alright. Never been so happy to see babies dying. And then we've got... You haven't lived. <laughs> uh, just some dudes I caught you on that one, didn't I? <laughs> just some dudes kind of lying around. That's quite a dull one. <laughs> Which of the okay, titles sounds like it might be oh, wow. nothing interesting going on. Just some dudes lying around. It could be Night Creeper, right? I, uh, hmm. Maybe? Night Creeper painting. No, that's not it. Um... See what else we got? Maybe they're in a cell. Maybe they're waiting to die. Is it the tri maybe that's Triumph of Death? Triumph of Death? Maybe. Nope, that's not oh, it. Oh, is it judgment? Is it judgment of campuses? Oh, so that's how you spell campus. That should be a bunch of people standing around. Not doing very much. A, a guy laying on the. They should be standing around the guy. Silly? Yes, I'm here. Lost, Do I you lost, hear me? I lost you for a minute. A bunch of guys stood around doing what? Standing around a guy laying on a table. Okay, no. Um. The. The, n the nightmare? Doesn't seem like much of a nightmare. It's just some people. Yeah. The triumph no. of death? You said it's not that, right? It's not the triumph of death, no. Judith the housing? It's definitely not that one. Why don't you put it in outside the room? I'll come get another one. We'll see what. Yeah, left. yeah, sure. Let's do that. Why not the empty frame just outside the room? Yeah, I have done. Oh. Okay. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Sorry, you're just on a bit of a delay. Are you getting on a delay even on passing? No, I'm watching that. No, 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 I'm not. I just have a hard time seeing this screen. Okay. It is very great. Right, so we've got some... No idea what's going on in that one. Let's move on. Oh, you know what? Some of these may not be real, like they're not part of the gallery. That's, that's, uh, we've seen loads of paintings. Some of these might not be legit. I think that's what's going on. I think the painting that we okay, can see so there is... Okay, so there's more paintings, there's more paintings than the... Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay. uh, do you, do you want to describe pictures? No, that's, I don't think that'll work. Um... Okay, in that case, let's double check the one that we put in, in case in case it's fucking with us and there's like similar paintings. So let's take a look at Massacre of the Innocents and just double check that it's definitely correct. It should be... Yeah, there should be like, really... Yeah, really strong guys, really big guys. Um, well, Sky, go take a look at that painting. And, yeah, uh, holding yeah, babies, uh, uh, cloudy sky in the background. Um, there's not very much sky visible, actually. It's only the very top left corner that you can see sky. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it. On the right, middle right, like off the side of the painting, can you see someone just ahead and their two outstretched arms coming in from the right hand side? Yes. Okay, that sounds good then. Um, I've got one of the horse ones, I think, so let's put that in. Um, let's check. Um, that the devouring one? Horses devouring Diomedes? Diomedes devoured by horses? Um, hmm. I can see 
three horses, white and then pale brown and brown. All kind of attacking, but not necessarily eating. Oh, actually, no, yeah, I can see it. The white horse is, like, eating his arm. I, I mean, that's got to be right, yeah. I guess. Okay. Yeah, two white, two white, one brown. Yeah, and the white one's having a, having a good old nibble on his arm. Uh, okay, I've got it. I've got it slightly different. Oh, I've got a. Sl yeah. It depends. It depends on which rendition of this it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, the white on his arm. The, okay. Hey, okay, uh, this one then. You're seeing the Gustave Moreau one. Okay. Yes, Moreau He's, rings a bell. Birds toward back on the right. Um. I remember seeing it's almost like a, in a stone in the stone area yeah there's there's three horses okay. but only one is like fully visible the other two are kind of behind that one yes yeah okay cool. the middle one has this the middle one is pointed his head is pointed upwards to the right a little okay um i've, I've come back away to find some more paintings but we're back at the maze um so it might be worth trying this again while we're here what do you reckon I think we're gonna make more headway with the paintings, personally. But I agree. I, I'm not okay. trying. It's just um, lots of distance to cover. Is the only thing. Yeah, you're gonna to have to cover it. In. Okay. There's a picture of. Uh, I guess like the river sticks. It's a demon rowing a boat, and then lots of people on the shorelines. Um. Do any of the painting names sound like that could be it? There was some someone and someone visit hell or something. Dante and Vir Dante and Virgil in hell. Yeah, see what see what <laughs> visit hell. It sounds more like a fucking Bill and Ted film. <laughs> okay, are they? Are there's just two guys in the in the river. No, <laughs> it's it's one demon rowing a boat down a river with lots of people on the shore. Hmm. Is that a, uh, the queen putting poison in Hamlet's father's ear? Say that again, sorry. Uh, is that the queen putting poison in Hamlet's father's ear? Oh, this next painting that I'm looking at? It's actually a hammer and a nail that she's got. Uh, well... Um, a little more violent. <laughs> could that be any of them? I know we've got a beheading, but I think we've already seen that one. It doesn't look like a flaying, really. I don't think this is one of them, actually. But if any of the paintings sound like it could be a woman driving a nail into a guy's neck or ear with a hammer, by all means, check that out. <laughs> I'm checking that. Might be a good idea for you to Google up all the pictures. I suppose we could do that, yeah. Although I'm wondering whether that's maybe something for next time, because we're getting on for it's well, it's past two o'clock now. Um, so I think we yeah, may yeah. I think we may finish up the first episode here. I'm going to come back up to the top of the maze. Um, and All we'll right. Take another look at this next time. So for next time, we I think we kind of know what's going on with the maze ish. Um, although we did get one f fail state on the maze that I'm not 100% sure why we got. Maybe I just took a little misstep that f fell off the side of a maze slightly. When did, it, when did the doors open on the maze? Is that something to know about too? That seems Do kind of random. <laughs> no, it can't be. I don't believe that. I, well, I, th I mean, I think they're just on timers. The woman in the photo is named the, the hammering a nail. I believe her name is J L, J A E L. Okay. Is that one of our pictures? It was not one of the what uh, the frame names that you had. No. Okay. This might be an extraneous one. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I guess we'll finish up here, and um. Okay. We'll come back to this next time, and maybe give the maze another go maybe give the paintings another go as well that sounds good the paintings i think have a little bit of promise i think we're gonna be able to hammer through that yeah i think so all right um, that was a good pun though 
Hammoth. Oh. <laughs> oh couldn't get. I couldn't. Could not do it. Had right. to do it. Silly's leaving the stream here, um, and then oh. for everyone else. <laughs> If anyone would like any of the relevant links, they're all in the description of the video. Um, you can go to the Discord server for the game, or go and pick up the game. Um, and yeah, absolutely. We'll... Big thing. Big thanks to big thanks to Persephone's chair people. Uh, yeah, thank you, Flush, for sending us a link to play the game. And, absolutely. Um, yeah, we'll we'll see you for the next episode. So we will see you soon. Bye, everyone. Uh, wait, bye, everyone. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yep. Upcoming schedules. Okay, sure. Um. Uh, today's Monday, so Tuesday, Sky, are you streaming? Tomorrow, uh, yeah. Should be. Um, I'll be streaming Bayonet on Wednesday. Thursday, we've got, um, Katane. Of Friday, course. I plan on doing some pinball. Saturday, what's going on Saturday, guys? I should have something on Saturday, although well, I don't know what it is. <laughs> and Sunday, you're doing, uh, something, Puppy? I probably will do something on Sunday if I, if I have time. I think I may. Okay. And I got XCOM going on Sunday as well. That brings us back to Monday, and I don't know what's happening on Monday. I have no idea. <laughs> so um, that's upcoming schedule. L join this Discord server. We just had a link go, and you'll see um, announcements there. Usually day of stream. Sometimes moment of stream. <laughs> that's, that's me, yes, for sure. Um, and thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.